Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the most competitive settings for the finals. I'm gonna show you guys my personal settings and tweaks that I did to my PC to get the highest frame rate, lowest input delay and best visual clarity. Because that's what you're looking for as a competitive player. To help you aim like this or like this. So to start off the video I'm gonna talk about the in-game settings. Under the general tab, what you want to uh, keep on is the melee assist. This setting is going to help you to hit your melees more uh, consistently when you're uh, in close range. Also keep auto sprint on off, is my personal setting. Under interface, what you want to turn off is the inward crosshair. This setting to off actually keeps your crosshair completely static in the center of your screen. If you put this to on, when you move around, uh, your crosser is gonna move uh, slightly left and right, uh, so I agile advise you guys to turn this to off. Uh, everything else is uh, kinda default. If you want to copy my uh, crosser settings, I use a static reticle. I would advise you guys to use a static one. These are my crosser settings. Mouse and keyboard, I keep my mouse sense to 30 and my zoom sense to 90% with my mouse focal length on off. Uh, I use 800 dpi and uh, 6 uh, window sense. For my other settings, I have uh, scroll wheel on jump and spacebar. This helps me with the bunny hopping. Uh, for a crouch, I have, uh, I have it bound on left control and left alt. And also have the toggle crouch on C. Is, uh, everything is default. In the audio tab, I keep my music volume and commentator volume to zero. I would advise you, you guys to also put the commentator volume to zero because when you play, having commentators like talking over uh, can like distract you and also can like cover steps around you. For the video tab, uh, window mode, I always play on full screen. This is the best settings to use to have the lowest input delay on your game. Uh, I just have the window full screen right now because I'm recording, but I always play full screen. Frame generation and V-Sync obviously both to off to get the lowest input delay. NVIDIA Reflex low latency on on and then I'm gonna show later on in the video my NVIDIA control panel. Frame rate limit 250. Resolution scaling method NVIDIA DLSS on quality. And I have a FOV on 95 with motion blur and lens distortions obviously disabled to get the best uh, visual clarity. NVIDIA RTX global illumination on static. And then my quality settings, everything is on low and uh, my texture is on epic since this doesn't affect your uh, performance. Next thing is my NVIDIA control panel. These are my general settings. You can copy them if you want. But uh, what you want to do is to go into manage three settings, program setting, select finals, scroll down. And you want to change these settings that are uh, like uh, marked. You want to change the, your uh, GPU to like uh, the current GPU you're using. Permanent management mode to prefer maximum performance. Uh, refresh rate on highest. Texture filtering on on. Uh, texture filtering quality on high performance. Texture filtering linear optimization on uh, on. And uh, threaded optimization on on. And apply. Uh, also, obviously, your refresh rate on, to your highest possible you have. And uh, under the color settings, the only settings I change is the contrast. I put it to, to 55. The default is on 50. And uh, I have my G-Sync on, uh, on off. I don't have it enabled. Next thing to do is to look for power. Choose power plan. If you have a custom Windows like I have and that I'm currently using Atlas, just leave the, this one. If you have your default Windows, uh, select high performance and apply. Next thing you want to do is to go into settings. Look here for graphics, graphic settings. Scroll down here, look for finals and set this to high performance. So what we're going to do now is disable the mouse mooting that is enabled by default uh, on finals. What you want to do is search percentage local app data percentage. You want to go into discovery. You want to go into saved. You want to go into config, Windows client. And you want to open this with a block notice. 
and you want to paste the command that uh, it is in the description of the video. This is gonna completely disable the mouse mooting from the game. You wanna save it and close. So for your mouse settings, yeah, you want to go on your control panel, hardware and sound, devices, go into mouse, additional mouse settings. What you want to do is to go on pointer option. Uh, I have my Windows Sense on default on 6. And what you want to disable is the uh, enhanced pointer position. This is going to remove your uh, uh, Windows uh, Axel completely. So turn this off. Then you want to go into control panel again. Ease of access. Ease of access center. Uh, mouse. Set up mouse keys. And you want to, uh, you're probably going to have this bar in the middle. You just want to put this bar all the way on the left on slow. It's going to completely remove your uh, Windows acceleration from your, uh, your settings. And apply and OK. Also, for those who want to get the best performance out of your system, I personally have Atlas installed on my PC, which is basically a custom version of Windows 11 made for gamers that disables all the useless programs and services on your PC to make it perform better when you play. If you want to look into this, I'll leave a link in the description. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a sub. That would help me out a lot. Also, I'm live every day on Twitch if you want to see me play. And uh, yeah, bye bye.